eBayers and test buyers. So I bought this uh, solar powered windmill, got it delivered from China uh, this morning. Bought it on eBay for about uh, 15 to 20 quid. And let's see what's inside. Okay, there seems to be a um, three bladed rotor, which is, let's see where we can pick it out, take it out. It's well attached, everything seems to be intact. So we've got this rotor blade here, and we've got this mast. Seems to be connectable to the mo motor. Here we have something, oh, that's something to attach it to the ground somehow. And we've got the motor unit. To me, this looks like something straightforward to assemble. So let's see, maybe we just have to put this one here in. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, and what else do we need? Maybe some energy. When you can you appreciate how this turns already? No, probably it's a bit too too far away. I'll show you. As you can see, the motor is working even indoors. There's very little uh, sunlight. So I uh, just now install this the mast here, and let's see what happens now. Yeah, see there's. There's some movement, even though there's very little energy, it seems to turn, it does turn a little bit. Yeah, so even indoors, with no light, there seems to be enough energy to bring some movement to this propeller. So the, the question obviously is always how, how tall is the whole thing? Um, so the mast itself, I'll take it apart again. The mast itself is just 23 centimeters plus one centimeter insert. The individual blades are 12 and a half centimeters long and they reach up to nine and a half centimeters from the ground. Now I wanted to show you all. As you can see the motor is working even indoors. There's very little uh, sunlight. There is also an on off button. Let's just press it and see what's happening. I, it does stop. So there is an on off button which seems, seems to work too. Switch it on again and let's see how long it takes. Just a few seconds really and uh, probably if I take my hands away <clears throat> it should start uh, turning again in very little time. I tried to give it a little bit more sun and here it turns again. Brilliant. So I think it's a very neat little machine. It's a beautiful, beautiful little um, windmill. Looks very modern. Uh, perfectly fits a diorama. Great, thanks for watching. Right, um, we're obviously interested to see what's in this machine. So I, I, will, I will open up this mantle because I'm not planning to have a big socket stuck into my diorama is this windmill Let's take it apart oh, not quite there it's nice that it's it can be opened with a screwdriver so it's not too cheap one two three four More screws they come off easily. So what have we got in here? So I've got these four screws here, and here seems to be the, the on-off button. 
Um, this is the motor unit. I'm not sure what I want to take it out. It's, um, let's just do it. Let's unscrew the motor from its embedding. It also helps us to give us a little bit of an impression of how much space we need in the diorama. So the whole unit here so all for all screws seem to be the same. So let's take some dimensions. This are four millimeters. These are four millimeters, as you can see. Now, the whole box measures 5.7 times 4.0 times 1.7 centimeters. And if we open this here, jumps out at me. That's very simple mechanisms. The wheels can be easily removed. This is the motor wheel. Let's put it all back together. And these are the magnets which are here um, hovering above the magnetic coil. And if I turn this upside down, see what I managed to make it work in the open state. Yeah, just just about probably. It's not well equilibrated, but you can tell now the electrical impulse going through the magnets will move the little magnets and make them turn. That's quite nice. So we, looking at this, uh, maybe one could make the box size smaller, but really you need uh, probably the entire box um, if you want to use this in your diorama. Let's see where I can just, oops, that's the wrong way around interference I better chop these little wires here away I don't want these wires to interfere with other parts even though it's for a very small current only, you don't want these to be in the wrong.
Right, so, um, I shall just reassemble it, right? I actually don't... I will just reassemble it. I'm not, not to lose any parts. One goes here, one goes here. Thanks, Tony. And screw one. And screw two. That's the assembly all. So I think that's uh, quite good to know all the I'm glad I give you all the dimension of this thing. So the inner box, the outer box, the height. I'll put it all in my block in the description of the video. Put it down. Here we go. And it's working again. Thanks for watching. I shall now take it outside and see whether it works outside on a grey day. Okay, as you can see, not a real nice weather day. And let's look at the solar powered windmill. Works just perfectly well. And this is this is really what you want. So I think this is a, a great windmill, looks very authentic, turns nice and fast. That's that's just perfect for my uh, diorama. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this uh, demonstration of this solar powered windmill. And thanks for watching.